Hello there, welcome to Creating with Ellie. Hope you've had a wonderful week and you have been busy making books. I have had an incredibly busy couple of weeks myself and I've just sat down at the computer today to have a look at what book I might create next. And I have found one using BookBolt Studio. So let's pop on over to the computer and take a look. So this is BookBolt and you have heard me talking about BookBolt before on this channel. I do use BookBolt a lot when I'm creating books and this isn't the studio component, this is the other part of BookBolt here. So when you do purchase BookBolt, you'll get these search features where you can go in and search for products and do some research and then you will get the one where you design and I'll show you both today. If you like what you see and you think you might be interested in the BookBolt, then there is a link below in the description and I do get a little bit of commission if you choose to purchase it for yourself. So what I have done today is I went in and I was looking for um, sort of art sketchbooks and seeing what might be available and I've come across this one here. It's called a pixel art grid book, grid paper sketchbook, which seems pretty easy enough to do. And I went across and I looked this one up here on Amazon and this one is 120 pages and it's in that large format of 8.5 by 11 and basically it's just a book if you scroll down a little bit that has just got grid paper in it and children or gamers or adults perhaps can go and draw pixelated art much like you see in programs I guess like Minecraft which is still very very popular now I had a look this one here has got some good ratings and there are a couple here that I did click on have a look. So this one here, My Pixel Art Sketchbook, very, very similar, has 104 pages, still in that same format. And if I scroll down, you can see that there's no A plus content. There is a two star rating, but no way to tell why that's had a two star rating. Mostly five stars, so that's positive. And there was one other that I went in, this one here I think it was. And this one was interesting too because same thing. And when I scrolled down, I think this was the one, yes. So this one had sort of varying reviews. This one said the squares, the squares are way too tiny, not ideal for kids wanting to practice. Marker tips are larger than the squares. And the next one said that they highly recommend it for any um, budding pixel artists so two completely different reviews there so again squares is something to consider when you're doing this this book here has had 222 estimated sales and if I come into the cloud here so I'm just going to take this keyword and you can see there's lots of keywords here pixel coloring art book number so I can keep come back to that and use that if I come back here and I just put in those keywords in the cloud, okay, not a lot comes up. There are some graph paper books, but they're not titled as pixel art books. But this is what I'm going to go for today. I mean, it's a book. I can upload it. If it does well, it does well. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm going to head in now to um, Book Bolt Studio. The process is going to be made so much easier using Book Bolt Studio. So I'm going to start a new project and this new project is going to have a cover and interior. It is going to be a pixel art sketchbook. It's going to be eight and a half by 11, black and white with interior white paper, premium color interior note, and it's going to have bleed. So I'm going to create that project. I'm going to make it 125 pages and create. So BookBolt provides the cover and it also provides all the pages in this project. Next I'm going to come up to the cover. And for the cover, normally I'd use something like Mid Journey. So I had a look at doing a fun and bright pixelated design and this is what Mid Journey gave me. But I'm skipped across and I used Ideogram this time. And Ideogram is different to Mid Journey in that it does provide some text. It's actually really good at putting text on there. So you can see that I've tried a couple of different variants here. And this is the one that I really like for the front cover. 
of my book. Now, before I upload this to BookBolt Studio, I am going to come across and I'm just going to open my vectorizer because I am going to vectorize the image that I've saved here. And that one, so I'm just going to call it Pixel Art Sketchbook and open it and let it do its thing. The Ideogram is a, you do get a free trial, so if, not a free trial, but you can get 10 free generations each day, so you can do that. If you are generating more, then you can pay for a subscription. So if you're interested, they'll put the link below. You can go and check it out and see what you're able to create with this. It's actually really good in that if you're not very artistic, it's just another way to make life a little bit easier. And I think that I'm going to actually use this and get rid of my Mid Journey subscription because it works out to be a bit cheaper as well. So I'm just going to download that and then I'm going to come back across into BookBolt. I'm going to go to my images library and I'm going to upload that image. Uh, just making sure it's the PNG because, yep, that's the larger file. And I can add that in here and resize it to fit my cover. And then for the back of the book, I'm going to choose a rectangle shape and I'm going to color that rectangle shape using the pipette. I'm going to pick the same color that's on the very front. And here I'm going to add in some text that explains what it is that this is used for. Now I am going to go to chat GPT to help me with this and I'm going to ask can you write a book blurb for a grid sketchbook that can be used to create Isolated drawings. Can you write this into a paragraph with dot points for the benefits of drawing in this way? Let's see what happens. Okay, and I'm just going to copy. And come back over to Book Bolt. I'm going to edit in here to make sure that I'm happy with what it says. So I'm just going to paste that. Do extra bold. And that can go up to the top. Right, so far so good. Now all I want to do is just put a few examples here on the back about what that looks like. So I'm going to come here to my templates and I'm going to select the graph paper. So I can do one centimeter by one centimeter, but I do want it to be a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to go four. I'm going to select all, take out the cover and continue to options, line color, transparent and submit. And then I want to download the current page, upload PDF, choose PDF file. There we go. Right, and then I can come across to my cover, go to my images, choose the PDF, and then I can just place in one of those so that whoever is looking at this book can have a look and see what size that is. And I might even just do a little bit of a multi-line over the top so that whoever purchases this book knows exactly what grid size that is. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to download the current project to my downloads folder, and then I'm going to go across and into Amazon and upload this to the Amazon KDP site. So here I am in KDP um, Direct Publishing. So I'm going to create my paperback. The book title is going to be, so Pixel, uh, sketch book for gamers 
and pixel art enthusiasts. And a summary, a summary of the book. I'll copy that. Being a bit lazy today, I am using AI for all this. Choose some categories. So here I'm going to go across and see what categories have been used here. Individual artist book, video game art books, drawing books. Save those. Keywords, I went through and I asked ChatGP to provide me with some keywords. So I'm just going to pull this down here to the side. Okay. And save and continue. Oops, hang on a second. I need to go back, which is there. It was asking me to put an ISBN on there. And if I had of it, it just would have been rejected because this is a low content book because there is no... Um, text on the pages so I'm going to select a different size here because it's eight and a half by eleven I am going to put bleed in there and I think I might keep the cover matte now I need to upload the manuscript and the cover and when book bulk downloads it it does zip it so I need to unzip this file first so let's just unzip this and this is the interior so let's open that one We'll ask you if you've used AI tools. Yes, I have. And that was ChatGPT. Sorry, okay. And then I want to launch the previewer and have a look and see what that looks like. It's now been uploaded. So this is your preview to see if it's going to be looking okay. And this is very, very basic. They're just a grid on each page. I know that's going to look like that all the way through. Potentially, and I'm hoping that the... Um, the grid is off the page. I'm just going to approve that. And then on the next page, so it's going to cost $3.12 to create the book, plus the commission that Amazon takes needs to be added onto that. So the minimum I can have on this book is $5.21. So if I go $6.99, that gives me a $1 profit on this book. So I think I'm going to stick with that. In Australia, that makes that an $11.50, but I only get 49 cents here. So I do want to bump that up a little bit. So I think I'm going to go, um, there we go, $1.27. That's fair. And then I will publish my paperback book. And it will go ahead and save that. I'll get a message saying your pixel art sketchbook is waiting now. And then I can um, leave that in for review. So hopefully that will go through okay and be ready for purchase. I've just realized how unorganized this room might look. I've got some holidays coming up in the future. I am really going to have to look at maybe setting up something a little bit different for filming <laughs> or at least go to another area of the house. So I hope you can bear with me, but this is me, honest, authentic, I'm here. This is my room, yes. It doesn't look perfect, but let's move on, shall we? I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. So don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to future videos coming out on this channel. Keep creating those books and I'll see you in the next video.